It's happened. There's a whole third book. Fairyland. Oh, it's Mercedes. Let's take a quick old look at Socrates here. Remind ourselves how these things kind of line up. Give us an idea of perspective of where we are compared to other things. Although, who knows how important it is. Ah. Uh, I mean, there wasn't a lot of overlap with Gwendolyn last time around. Although, both of them met Mercedes. Who must- this must be Mercedes over here? So... We start later than Puka Prince did, but way- still significantly earlier than... Valkyrie. Actually, that's just one cutscene though, perhaps. Wow, we're gonna jump ahead a lot. Wow, okay. It looks like by the time we're in chapter one or two of Mercedes, the Puka Prince will have already been in chapter five and six. So this is actually a relatively late story. Yeah. A whole lot of Mercedes seems to happen later on. That's interesting. In fact, but uh, Gwendolyn still has the latest story because of the fact that she passes out for a while and just skips ahead for a while. And a whole bunch of time passes in between. And then over here must be... It's gotta be the Shadow Knight and uh, Velvet, though I don't know which order. Bye, Socrates. Alright, Mercedes, let's hear your story and find out how the hell you control compared to the other characters. It'll be the same, but different. Princess Mercedes, where have you been? You're quite persistent, aren't you, old man? Wait, Mercedes. Mother. Wherever are you off to? With my precious bow. Frog hunting. Yes, I see. It is necessary to exterminate those pests that eat the little fairies. But you should leave that task to the soldiers, dear. I just want to improve my skills with the bow, so I can join you on the battlefield. Mercedes, I cannot take you along when we battle the Demon Lord. No! Why not? Mercedes, you are young. You need to learn this. You mustn't be eager to go to war without even knowing why we are fighting. So, why are we fighting? We born from the forest cannot live without Fozons, our source of life. Melvin! Fozons are magic elements generated by nature. They are rare outside the forest. Since we have collected them from around the world, we are gifted with prosperity. The Demon Lord has declared war on us so that he may obtain our treasure. Is that what he wants? Our greatest treasure, the Cauldron, will give him enormous power. So, that's why he's attacking? <laughs> Mercedes. I shall entrust you with my precious bow. It will be your responsibility to protect the country while I am away. Yes, Mother. I understand. So, I'll be off hunting now. Oh dear, I wonder if that child understood anything I told her. Tis a problem. She has no idea of her position and what is expected of her. Melvin, you are her cousin. She treats you as a brother. Please help her become a good queen. As you wish. I shall make it my duty to assist Princess Mercedes in any way possible.
Here we go. Mercedes can fly freely in the air. Fly around stages. Oh, we can see the rest of it. So just hold X to, to fly. And that's it. Can I just fly all the time now? Holding uh, forward and square or R1 will make me go faster. So I just fly now. And just can shoot around. Well, this will be weird. This is going to be a strange experience. There we go. So we're flying. Okay. So this, this seems like it must take place earlier on if it's, if it's acknowledging her as being the princess and they're talking about her growing to be a queen. I wonder if, uh... I don't know. I, I, I think she's meant, called as being... I could have sworn she was called uh, Queen Mercedes at some point, but I could be wrong. Die, frogs. We greatly hate frogs around here, apparently. It's so we can block or we can do press down and, and attack for a... Oh my god. Oh my god, excuse me? Oh my god. Nothing prepared me for that. This is the most dangerous frogs in the history of any fictional world. Holy cow. I was trying to charge it to try out my new charge attack. Nope, stop that. Depending on the time charge, the success the charge attack may be a shot that travel uh, traverses the floor or homing projectiles. Wow. Nothing prepared me for the idea that they're just going to shoot horribly dangerous things at me. Here we go. You can fire a powerful shot if you let power gather in the bow and don't attack for a certain amount of time. Like this. There we go. So if I wait between shots... So there's, there's actually a lot of different mechanics here, whereas the other two characters seem to largely control the same. Oh. Hi. I keep thinking this fight's going to be over, and it's not. Oh, Brett got you, actually faced the enemies to make that work. There we go. So it goes through the enemies too. So there's a clear benefit for shooting for shooting at a at a set rate. This will be interesting. It definitely plays different. So I wonder if I'm making stuff up in my head and I'm just completely wrong on the topic of her being Queen Mercedes. I think she was introduced as Queen Mercedes at some point. If that's the case, then it seems like the t the days would probably be numbered for our uh, our friend the queen right now. Your Majesty, the Demon Lord has launched an assault. Our soldiers have been pushed back, and some have deserted from the front line. Our guardian dragon is having trouble dealing with Odin's witch. We have no choice but to retreat. Your Majesty, please issue the command. What an enormous cipher! It's been a while, Elfaria. Last time you were unusually shrewd and managed to steal the cauldron away from me. Demon Lord Odin. You are beautiful as ever. And yet, I regret that I will have to break your perfect neck like stepping on a lily. I will not give you the cauldron. You will have to take it by force. Yet I cannot allow you to continue your violent and petty ways unpunished. Say what you will. Your attempts at deception have no effect on me. Observe this blue orb. Behold the might of the wicked eye, Baylor. Queen, accept defeat. With this, I will become absolute ruler of the world. Go, mourn the death of the fairy race. Please compose yourself. Mother! Shh. Now listen carefully to what I have to tell you. It is very important. Mercedes. 
You must not look down. Raise your head high and survey the path ahead. You are the next fairy queen. Ringford will soon be in danger. If the magical kettle, the cauldron, if it draws in all the bosons, our forest and our people cannot live. The land needs a leader. You will need to revive the country and get the cauldron back from the demon lord. If you respect my words, you will need to choose the path of royalty over revenge. Be a queen. Tis difficult to place such a burden on one so young. But I know you can do it. Mother believes in you. Mother! Tis my time to go, Mercedes. Oh, dearest Earth, take me. I go back to whence I came. And to the beloved heavens, I will give you my name. I am Elfaria. My true name is Fimble Vetter. This awful winter shall disappear with me. The Fairy Queen's Triumph. It's interesting that we start off with a uh, we start off with Odin's army and everything, and the more you play as other characters, the more and more of a negative light that t that a uh, faction is put upon. So yeah, mystery solved about the Queen Mercedes part. You literally do a tiny prologue and to a tutorial, and are already queen as your mother is brutally murdered by a character we were previously acquainted with. Yay! What that was a ridiculous spike ball weapon. Have we seen that before and I forgot already? I don't think we I've seen it before. That was insane. I fought the Demon King when he was possessed. I don't think he had that even at that point. Uh, the Forest of Fairies was once a beautiful place where many races lived in tranquility. Queen Alfaria's greatest achievement was to unite everyone as a nation. Her legend will be passed down for eons to come. But that great deed did not come easily. The queen's greatest obstacle was the tension between the fairies and the dwarves. Believing the dwarves' smithing skills invaluable, the queen tried compromise, but the fairies bristled at their diplomacy, slowing, uh, slowing talks. And when they acquired the magic cauldron, opinions clashed further. The dwarves wanted to use the cauldron, supreme power, to its fullest, making it a foundation of the nation's might and the fairies opposed overusing the dangerous cauldron, cauldron remembering its role in the destruction of Valentine. Tensions soon flared into war. In the heat of battle, the losing dwarves tried to control the cauldron and caused a magical flood that swept through the forest. The queen ordered all soldiers to rescue everyone, friend or foe, and stood against the cauldron herself, stifling its onslaught and preventing further damage to the land. The war was over, the dwarves awaited their punishment, but the queen spoke instead of forgiveness. She gave them citizenship, encouraged them to make peace with the fairies. Touched by her clemency, the dwarves pledged allegiance to the, to the queen. And thus did the races of dwarf and fairy reconcile. Part of a historical record of Queen Ofaria by Matthew, her advisor, the magic arbalist that the blacksmith Brahm presented to the queen beca uh, became a symbol of her protection. So that one's really interesting. So that 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 arbalest there is the weapon I'm going to be using this entire playthrough, and that last detail makes this thing a little iffy because this whole thing was written by the advisor of the queen, which means it's inherently biased in her favor. But if it is accurate, it makes her seem like the best ruler of all the characters we've encountered in this game. Not only is she competent enough to win battles, but she actually has the heart to forgive and to preserve life rather than just randomly seek power the way that most characters have been doing that we don't play as. <laughs> huh. 
Huh. That was the shortest prologue of them all so far. Oh, look. Shadow Knight's right there. Princess Mercedes, we have so many injured that we have run out of sick beds and medicine. What shall we do? Well, um, uh, 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 uh. Let us open the Southern Imperial Villa and house the wounded there. I shall notify our mages to increase healing potion production. Princess Mercedes, I hope this is adequate. Uh, oh, yes. Yep, she's gonna need him around. Uh, she can, she should be able to veto anything that that he uh, says. But overall, he's, she's not gonna be able to have come up with the right solutions on her own. So you must be Melvin's shadow knight. Pardon me, I'm not feeling well. Well, that wasn't very nice. So you must. Nope. Pardon. No secondary dialogue. Knowing that the demon lord is on his way here makes me nervous. Do you think that girl can fulfill her duties as queen in these times of strife? Her cousin Melvin is quite dependable. He ought to take her place. Your Majesty, I'm extremely unhappy. In the past, the former queen battled with the dwarves for the cauldron. When we were defeated, we left our forges and became lilipats. But... The dwarves who escaped the fairies joined forces with the demon lord and made more weapons to hurt us. Well, well. Just let me know if there's anything you need. A lot of confidence in her so far. And we have, like, no money, so it's not. this isn't gonna make us much progress either. Anyone else? Oh, hello. Aren't you from the demon lord? Your Majesty, I swear by my horn. I will fight to the end for Queen Elfaria. Thank you. Why did I think he was on the Demon Lord's team? I guess they wouldn't be, because we did f we fought those characters in the intro chapter with, uh... Yeah, right, they, they've got to be on the Elf's team. I think it's just they look like Demon Lord armor is why I think that at first. So we're starting things off in the forest. No hints at where we might go past that. Although... On counters with other characters might give us some idea. I wonder. I do wonder if you play the chapters where other characters fight Mercedes, or if those things happen off camera for her play for her particular story, and they're like incidents you only know about as the other ones. Because I mean, uh, there were moments where Gwendolyn would encounter uh, Cornelius in Cornelius' story, but we never encounter Cornelius in Gwendolyn's story. So there's there's a lot of gaps to fit together. <laughs> it just shot it. It has not been long since you lost your mother. Perhaps you need a vacation. But Melvin, I'm... Allow me to handle the governmental affairs. The people will be fine. Are you suggesting that the Queen is a burden? Absolutely not. Melvin, the Chief Armorer would like to discuss something with you. I'll see him immediately. Excuse me, I must be on my way. So he's controlling the armed forces as he wishes. Just as Mother said, I cannot do anything. Queen Mercedes, please control yourself. There's something strange in the air here. Melvin is acting highly suspiciously. His heart burns with ambition, and he seems to be making some kind of plan. He's not showing anything on the surface, but we can't let this continue. Let us speak with the sorcerer who served Queen Elfaria. The famous sorcerer Beldor, who enslaves a dragon and sees the netherworld. It is better to have a dependable expert on our side. I doubt he will cause a rebellion within the land, but who can say? If the country collapses after Queen Alfaria's death, the Demon Lord truly wins. I have heard that Beldor has retreated to a place in the forest. 
If Queen Mercedes should visit him in the forest, he should be honored to help. Poor Mercedes. So we really... Oh, wow. Wow. That was a surprising amount of uh, objects back to back there. Can't we can't we just have like like one character just one character with like a nice healthy support structure with like a family that loves them and doesn't die or get betrayed or betray them or get deluded into not recognizing them via a, a horrible just uh, curse and stuff like that. I'm like oh cool finally like sure her mom said but hey maybe the maybe the cousin won't be so bad. Immediately the cousin is so bad. Well, not necessarily so bad, but immediately he's taking charge and dismissive of her. Doesn't have to be evil, but knowing the way this game goes, that hint that he might be turn out to be evil is pretty strong indication that he will just be evil. <laughs> Let's try some of our charge up attacks. Let's see. Where was that sound? Oh, there you are. I think I have to do a sliding attack now. I would sometimes do other attacks on other characters, but for this one, I don't think it works as well. So that's one, that's one flash. Two flashes of volley. All right. What if I stand up? Oh, if I stand up, nothing happens. Is there another one after that one? It was just that one, okay. So my option is floor attack, volley attack, and the the, uh, the mecha buster. Uh, it's just it's obvious to compare that particular blast to Me Mega Man. Oh, this is the I mean this is like the given thingy where you would be like you would just be like lemons yeah I'm shooting lemons. Uh oh, all right let's charge it up a little bit. Boom! That's not quite as dangerous as I was hoping. I wonder if I gain abilities like normal at all. That'll be interesting to find out. Because already already down and square is reserved exclusively for charge attacks. Let's see here. Do I have... I don't even have a shortcut menu for skills. I guess I don't have any unlocked right now, so I just can't open it. I'm gonna have to get a an ability which is right here, so that'll... That'll... Uh, that'll straighten that part out. I'm gonna have a terrible score here if this is a, a ranked level. Because I haven't have not been making good progress. Alright, let's fly. Gotta get used to that being a thing too. Looks like you shoot slightly down by default. Can I control the direction I shoot in? Oh, that was an S. Interesting. Whoa. Level up screens golden and green. The other two are probably different colors too, but it wasn't the striking, so I may have not have picked up on it. Active skill, fire a huge magic bullet. Alright, 6 PP. Alright. Let's level up our main gun too. That's, that's a good place to start, honestly. Especially with how fast I can shoot. We're gonna want to make this, uh, this rifle as fast, as powerful as we can. This, this arbalist. Do I? I don't have any abilities. I'm only, I'm only level one still, so I don't have any points to spend. 